Hi, in today's video I thought I'd show how to do these word frames. I'm not, I don't think I've done these before in Inkscape or Canvas, so I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial. Um, I've put them on a card here just so they show up a little bit better, but if you have a look at this here, you'll see you've got a frame with the sentiment welded inside it, and then I've made um, a card shape, so this would fold here, and this would make um, a card. Here's another one. This one you'd have the fold down here and this frame, it's the girl, would be the front and the, the pink would be your card base. So we'll go to a new project and um, I'll show you how I did it. You need to come into your text tool and choose a font. So I'm going to choose this font. Double click to get the flashing cursor and then use your backspace until all the word text has gone and then type your word. So I'm going to type happy birthday and then just select click anywhere on the page and come back to the font again and then double click and then we're going to type the word birthday. Okay. So I'm going to work with the word happy. So you double click on the word happy. No, sorry, you don't. You select the word happy and then you go to this second icon here, which is divide. And it doesn't look as though anything's happened, but what basically has happened is it's split the letters up for you because before it was a group. So I'm going to click on the letter A and using the little arrows on my keyboard, I'm going to use the left arrow and just move it over so that it overlaps. I'm just gonna zoom in a little. Okay, so you can see it overlaps here, but it doesn't touch there. So I'm going to move it over a little bit more. Then I'm gonna click on the P and I'm gonna use the arrow and bring that over so that that overlaps the A. You can see it overlaps there and overlaps there and then do the same here and then the same with the Y I'll just bring that one over. Then I'm going to come down to the word birthday. While that's selected I'm going to come up here and hit divide again. That will divide all the individual letters. I'm going to click on the I and move that over and then I'm going to move the circle over And in fact, I might bring that down so it's just on top of the I. Then bring the R over. So on the I here, we've got an overlap here and it's just not quite touching there. But we should be okay because we're going to bring this word down in a bit and attach it to this one. So we'll see how it looks. Overlap there. Bring this one over. And obviously, you don't have to keep these in a straight line. I mean, you can... You can have them, you know, piggledy piggledy if you like. It's it's however you want your word to look. But for now, we'll just try and go with a fairly straight line. And I'll bring these ones over just so it's a little bit quicker. That's better. So get rid of the U. And bring the Y over. Okay, now I'm going to select this word and I'm just going to make it a group by right clicking and choosing group and I'm going to select that word and do the same just to make it easier for me to line them up while I'm trying to position them and then I'm going to zoom in again and I'm just going to select this group of letters and then just nudge them up a little bit. So you can see we've got a, the D here is overlapping this P. This H is just touching the A. And I'm just going to bring that, that one down so it just touches ever so slightly there. Now I'm going to zoom back out so you can see everything. I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go to the basic shapes and I'm going to find myself a rectangle. And then I'm going to position this rectangle 
so that I get an overlap of the B here and an overlap on this Y here and then I'm just going to bring this up so it just overlaps the top of the letter there. Okay, so if I zoom in, you'll see what we've got there. Okay, zoom back out. I'm going to select this rectangle and just bring it off to the side for now. And I'm going to click the outset icon and put an outset on it. I don't want to, I want an outward outset and I'm leaving it at the default. But I don't want rounded, I want bevel, so I'm going to say OK. And that puts like a square. If I'd have left it as it was, I'd have had rounded corners. Now, this square's on top, so I want to right-click and send it to the back. OK, and then when I click on this middle one, that selects it, so I know that's on the top. So I'm going to select both of those, the two rectangles, and I'm going to come over here to subtract. And that makes that a frame now. I'm going to position it back over the words and I'm going to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. So basically what I've got here is I've got this rectangle just overlapping the top of the H and I'm going to just move it over so it overlaps on the B here and overlaps on the Y there and there. Because the only thing that's going to hold this frame to this sentiment is this section here, this bit here, and this little bit on the Y. Now, I'm going to drag an imaginary box around everything, and I'm going to hit Weld. And then you can see where it's welded. There's a gap there and there, so that's all welded now. And then if I select it and fill it with a colour, you'll see what I mean. And we'll zoom back out. So that's our frame. And then if you want to make a card front for it, basically all as I would do is while it's selected, go to Outset, leave it on Bevel and Outward and choose OK. That gives you a frame. Duplicate, right click and duplicate your frame. Bring it above so it just overlaps slightly here. Just move this one out of the way. Drag an imaginary box around both of these. Go edit, align, left. So we're lining up the left edges. And then I'll just nudge one down a little bit. You only want a slight overlap in the middle here. Select them both and weld. And then just to show you how it would look if you filled it with a colour, if this was card. So if this was beige card, and then you cut your frame, bring this to the front, actually send this one to the back, and that would be how it would look. So you'd cut your frame, say, in black card, and then you'd get yourself a piece of beige card, and then you could stick this on the front of that, and you've got a happy birthday sentiment. So I hope you found that helpful. Please like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.